Welcome to episode four, How to Plant. Because a viewer requested this, thanks Judy T, Rich is going to show you step by step how to plant both into a pot and into the ground. Take it away, Rich. When we were out plant shopping, we saw these beautiful coleus and just had to buy them. We had these shiny reddish brown pots at home and thought the coleus would look wonderful in them. Now we know these pretty pots were probably too big for a transition from the smaller store pots. This is the size we should have used when we repotted them. Because as you can see, the plants grew out of proportion with these tall, gangly stalks. They should be filled up in the center and should be shorter and fuller. An internet search showed that we didn't have to repot them back into smaller pots. We just needed to pinch them back. And here is how to do that. Using your thumb and index finger, find a place about halfway down the stalk and then pinch it. It looks better already because it has more pleasing proportions and will fill out more evenly. These are now ready to put into something like an old coffee mug, three fourths full of water. and leave them near a window to grow some roots. It should take about two or three weeks. Keep checking the roots, and when they're about two to three inches long, like this, you can plant them into a pot. First, make sure you buy the best soil for your needs. When planting in a pot, get potting soil, and when planting in the ground, get planting soil or gardening soil. Nowadays, there's a huge selection of soil available, so be sure to read the bags carefully. Second, choose pots that are the right size and have holes in the bottom for draining. Then put a little rock or two in the bottom so the soil doesn't clog the drainage hole. With gardening gloves on, either grab soil with your hand or use a small hand trowel. Fill the pot up about three-fourths of the way. Shape a hole in the dirt to place the roots into. Add more dirt to cover the roots and press down slightly as you go. Then fill up the rest of the pot. Press the dirt around the plant once more. Only use a little bit of water at first since the roots have been soaking in water. Here's the area where we want to plant flowering bushes into the ground. I cleaned out the area and dug down a few inches to give the plants some decent dirt instead of our sandy soil. You see that we've moved our potted plants into the places we want them. We based our decisions for the long term. What do we want it to look like in six months, a year, two years? And we suggest choosing which colors you think will look best together. Also. Remember to consider how far apart to plant them, so they'll all fill out in the best way to cover the area. Let's show how to plant one of these into the ground. With a shovel, cut in some marks around the pot so you can see where to dig. Move the pot away to start digging. The hole generally needs to be twice as wide as the pot and several inches deeper, so this can take quite a bit of digging. Once dug, Put a couple of inches of garden soil in the bottom of the hole. Then extract the plant from the pot. In order to take the plant out, carefully lay the pot on its side. For plastic pots, firmly tap to loosen the plant from inside the pot. If it's a ceramic pot, you'll have to use a little more force. If the plant has been in the pot a long time, it might be slightly root bound. That means you can see mostly roots instead of dirt. In that case, massage the sides of the root ball and try, gently, to loosen some of the roots away from each other and from the soil. Place the plant in the hole and move it around until it looks balanced to your eye. Fill the hole with soil, gently pressing down as you go.
Make sure you fill the dirt to the top of the plant's root ball so that it's even all around. Then press all the dirt down gently. Cover the soil around the plant with wood chips or other mulch. Caution! If you decide to put gravel or other small rocks around the plant, keep in mind that rocks can get very hot in the sun and could radiate damaging heat down into your plant's roots. And finally, give your plant a well-deserved drink. It's been through a lot. Wow, thanks for all the great advice, Rich. And thank you for watching. In our next episode, we'll show you all the ins and outs of getting our new privacy fence installed. We hope you'll like this episode, click the subscribe button, and post a comment in the section below. Thanks so much. Oh, and please share our YouTube link with your friends. See you next time.